In this video, I'm going to go over how to properly re-drill misaligned scope base holes uh, going from 648 to 840s. Uh, this is pretty common with, this is an old 1917 Enfield. This is pretty common with old receivers where people either didn't have the right equipment or one reason or another, they didn't get drilled straight or true. The setup I have here is this receiver is hold, held in a receiver fixture block and then it's clamped down uh, to my table. It's bolted twice and then there's a plate in the middle here to hold that all straight and that receiver uh, mandrel is true. I have spent quite a bit of time dialing this thing in and what you do is you have a mandrel that you put in there that's fit perfectly for this raceway. I believe this one's 7 0 0.7025 or 0 0.703. It's either 703 or 702 and a half. I can't remember right offhand. But that's what fits this particular receiver and many like it. So when the first thing to do when setting this thing up is I made sure that this thing is level based off what the table is because if your machine isn't quite level you can't you gotta go off kind of your table so. The next thing I do is with the mandrel in there you go and measure, I measured back here about a half an inch behind the rear receiver and about a half an inch in front of the front ring and you take a side measurement of the mandrel and you line that up as close to zero as humanly possible. So I believe I got this one showing zero on a half thousand syndicator. So it's at least a little less than a half thousand, so over approximately seven inches. So therefore, we're gonna get our scope holds lined up perfectly based on the raceway of the action and not necessarily off the barrel which I have a forcer drill and tap jig, which that works very well, and I might use it here uh, to finish tapping these because my mill here is pretty small. But the idea here is that we're going from the receiver, not off maybe an outside diameter of a barrel, which, don't get me wrong, those things do work extremely well, and uh, many, 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 many receivers have been drilled and tapped with those, and I have even done quite a few myself because they work very well. But if you want to get absolute perfect, this is kind of the way to do it. So what we're doing here is we got 648 hole uh, scope base holes, and the rear is 600 thousandths, and this one is 860, I think, between our hole spacing here. And what I have here is a 964 four flute carbide end mill. So we're gonna, and this is all the whole purpose of this is to keep this rigid so we can drill those new holes because these old holes are out of alignment. These are off approximately 10 thousandths from 600 thousandths so they're a little wider so I split the gap and those should clean up and the front ones the very front hole and the front ring is off to the left. So what we do is we dial this thing in, we straighten this out make sure it's level this way and then we carefully measure where our holes are going to be and then you go over every one and make sure that your mill is going to clean out each and every hole this isn't a guaranteed method to do this uh, if somebody did a horrible job drilling these previously you're going to be SOL this is only intended for if there are a few thousandths out you know within maybe ten thousandths not even one way or the other. On top of that I have a rear screw hole here that was also stripped out. Therefore I needed to redo that anyways and a 648 won't fit back in there and unless you wanted to TIG, you could probably TIG weld or um, you know fill that in in the back but you don't want to mess with the front here. That's a whole nother ball game with heat treatment and all that good stuff. So so it's pretty easy once you have it all, it's all lined up I got uh, digital gauges on here. This is a little Rustnock mini mill. It's a high precision lab grade uh, milling machine. And this is about as big of work as you can do on it, but it is very precise and it works very well for a little stuff like this. So what we'll do is, there's nothing much to it. I got it all lined up. All we're gonna do is plop down in. See what my speed should be okay. Go down in and I'm just gonna plunge all the way through there because this isn't that thick anyways and I'll 
it'll clean those holes out underneath and it'll take out a little more material, that's fine. So I'm going to plunge through all these, plunge through the first one, dial over 600, plunge through that one. Then I'll set up, center back up on this hole up here in the front and then dial, I believe it's 860, it might be 840, but uh, right of hand. Then I'll dial my whole spacing there, so let's cut these quick. little hole for our 648 or our, sorry our 840 so now we're going to crank over 600 thousandths one two three four five six and we should be right over top of our hole which we are Next step is I gotta get over to the front ring here. Alright, and then here is our front one, and we're all lined up here, and we're just gonna cut these two quick. So then we're going to dial in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and sixty thousandths. On the money. All right. four perfectly lined up holes and I just barely clean that one out so now what's left to do is tap them pretty easy to do uh, I'm gonna set this up in another fixture to tap it because I don't have the space in here but um, that's it I mean it's dialing them in making sure you have the clearance that you need for to, to recut them and clean them out completely and then you can dial it in and recut these so now I have four perfectly lined up holes that are perfectly lined up to the raceway and um, there you go they're going to be nice and straight and as long as your bridges are nice and straight your scope alignment should be perfect minus like this old one I'm sure this rear bridge isn't straight and this one probably isn't straight but we can go through and, and redo that and fix that so there you go there's how you re-mill misaligned scope holes if you're able to. Alright, so there you go. There's four holes that are perfectly drilled and tapped, lined up again. We repaired them. One thing when doing this is you have to double check that every hole that you're going to re-drill out is going to clean out basically completely. Like I said, there's not a lot of room for error when going from 648 misalignment to an 840 alignment, but it can be done. In this case it worked out well, and as you can see, nice shiny holes with nice clean 840 threads. Now the next step is to modify the bases to fit 840 screws, or if you have 840 bases that would work too. This is an obsolete action basically. 
as far as manufacturing goes and nobody makes an 840 base of any sort for these things so you gotta custom make them if you want one. This is also basically the same process if you're gonna go through and drill and tap scope bases for a for an untapped rifle receiver starting from scratch with no holes in it. You can do this on a mill a lot of guys do it on the Williams or the Forrester drill and tap fixture because it's quick and easy so this is just an alternative method to do it. 